hi everyone in this tutorial uh, i'll be showing you how you can cal calculate the area covered by different pixel classes that are uh, falling under a polygon or a buffer circle as you can see in this image so to begin with um, we will be using the data set uh, of european space agency's world land cover data with a spatial resolution of 10 meter and which means one pixel covers 100 meter square of area and this data set contains almost 11 land cover classes representing a uh, tree cover shrubland grassland cropland and etc etc so the values are here so the pixels with a value of 10 represents tree cover similarly with the value of 20 represents the shrubland and so on and so forth so in this tutorial uh, as i mentioned earlier i a our aim is to uh, count the number of pixels belonging to a belonging to different land cover classes that are falling under the polygon or the buffer circle so we you can either draw a polygon or create a buffer circle around a point of interest as i have created in the tutorial so what actually happens is that uh, the uh, QGIS with QGIS you can count how many pixels belonging to different uh, classes are falling under this particular buffer circle or a polygon and from and, and after counting these number of pixels we will calculate the area covered by different pixel classes so let's begin this tutorial first of all uh, you have to open your QGIS and here uh, you need to import your land cover uh, raster data in this example i'll be using this european space agency's world land cover data with a spatial resolution of 10 meter as i had shown you earlier so this is this is going to be my raster file i'm going to drag and drop it here uh, you can download this same uh, raster data or tiff image from the description below i have provided it there okay now uh, i need to do some styling because it looks so dark go into properties then go to transparency and if you enter zero here it will remove this unwanted black colored region and in symbology i'm going to choose the render type to unique values and here uh, instead of random colors i'm going to choose spectral and click classify so this will classify uh, the different land cover classes that are belonging to this uh, region of interest and this is this is actually uh, the land cover classification of Munar in Kerala which is a, f a famous hill station and also a part of Western Cut. So here there are actually there were 11 classes but here you can see there are only 8 classes in this particular region of interest and you just click apply and ok so it's done you can see there are values starting from 10 to 80 uh, uh, actually it's mostly red which means let's see what does uh, the red represents so it's uh, the value you don't have to look at this color look at the value 10 represents tree cover so since Munar is a hill station and it also has so many protected areas and wildlife sanctuaries uh, a lot of tree cover can be seen so that's it in the second step we need to uh, create a buffer circle or a polygon so in this example i will create a buffer circle of a specified radius here you can see this particular buffer circle around this point has a radius of five kilometer so in order to create that you need to note the coordinate reference system of your you know project in my case this is going to be epsg 4326 you just take a note of that and then go to vector okay first of all uh, before that you need to create a point you can see uh, i have created a point here so the first step involves creating a vector point for that you need to uh, go to new temporary scratch layer and add a layer name here this is going to be my point location and the geometry type is going to be point and click ok and you just have to click add point feature button and 
<coughs> you can add the points a point wherever you want I'm going to add it somewhere here okay it's been added here I'll increase the size of the point now so that it will become uh, more visible and I would like to change the color as well okay now you can see my point here now it is around this point that we are going to create a buffer for that go to vector and your processing tool and then you have to click on this buffer and the input layer is going to be our point location this one and the distance is the radius of uh, of our buffer circle so you have to give it in degrees but we don't know how many degrees are 5 km so in order to understand that you need to take a note of this uh, coordinate reference system and directly go to chat gpt and ask just ask how many degrees in latitude are 5 km in our uh, project coordinate system for moon or the steady area and it will instantly calculate the uh, answer and i got it as 0 0.0450 you just copy it and paste it here so which means uh, 5 km is equal to 0 0.0450 degrees and you just click run and close so our 5 km buffer has been created around that particular point I'm going to make this a little transparent okay it's been created you can if you want you can also measure the length of this buffer starting from right from the center of our point and we can make it in kilometers and to the see it's almost 4.9496 so I want to tell you that it, it's not going to be accurate I mean 100% accurate there will be some variation because uh, it has something to do with the coordinates system the conversion and all anyways in this uh, demonstration purpose this is the best way to do it and it will be almost 5 km so you just close it and now we have to count uh, the number of pixels belonging to different uh, land cover classes falling within this buffer circle for that you need to search uh, you have to go to the uh, processing toolbox and here just search zonal histogram you open it and you have to provide your raster layer first and then you have to provide your this uh, buffer circle this is going to be buffered you can see this one and if you click run this will create a new output called output zones and if you right click and go to the uh, attribute table of this particular buffer zone you can see uh, the land cover class with a value of 10 so simply saying there are more than uh, 4.5 lakh pixels representing the land cover class with a value of 10 which is tree cover similarly the land cover class with a value of 20 is 11 pixels and if you look at the uh, land cover class with a value of 30 there are around more than 3.2 lakhs uh, pixels so now we have got the number of pixels belonging to different classes and in the second step uh, you need to calculate the area covered by these pixels so here uh, if i take this example uh, the land cover class with a value of 40 and i want to calculate the area covered by these pixels these pixels i'll simply i have already told you one pixel covers 100 meters square of the area then uh, 40 pixels are going to cover 40 into 100 which is which is going to be 400 uh, meter square of area this is a simple calculation and you can convert this into kilometer square as well so simply you can do it and you can follow the same steps for other pixel classes as well for a land cover class with value of 10 20 you do the same procedure and you will get the area covered by these pixels so it's, it's just simple so thanks for watching uh, 
you just try it out it's easy i think so the land cover class raster image is already given in the description below you just download it and practice